Welcome back everyone, Infosec Gurung here and uh, this would be a very short video for our step 4. Okay, now what we want to add in our Kilo which is the text editor is that whenever it reads Q, that is the letter Q, uh, which is the key press from our user, it will quit the program. Fine. Um, this is what we have to modify in this uh, read function to, uh, line. Fine. And uh, let's go through the theory. Uh, to, to quit this program, you will have to type a line of text that includes a Q in it and then press enter. Okay. The program will quickly read the line of text one character at a time, uh, which is what our uh, read um, function is doing, which is accepting one character each uh, of one byte and uh, from the uh, standard input fine and it reads uh, the and until it reads the queue at which the point uh, at, at which point the while loop will stop and the program will exit so if c is uh, equal to q then this would be false and this would be uh, the while loop will uh, stop so if q, if c is not equal to q then uh, our while loop will continue fine and uh, any characters after the q will be left under it in on the input q and you you may see that input being fed into your shell after your program exits so we can have uh, we can watch the practical thing here fine and uh, let's go to our kilo.c Okay, I'll just increase the font size and uh, ampersand if C is equal to is not equal to Q yeah that's what is written then do this we'll just add a, a bracket here fine and uh, that is just from clarity sake for myself and uh, we'll make kilo uh, okay fine uh, we have a syntax error yeah now once kilo is compiled we'll just see how it goes now if you type anything like anything which has not like the letter C, it reads uh, fine. Okay, now I have Q written here and I press enter. So you can see that it has come out of the uh, loop. Okay, the while loop and the, our program has ended. Fine. Now I suppose type something like uh, ASD and then Q. Uh, it's working intended. Okay, whatever was before Q is getting read by the our program uh, that is the text editor and uh, now suppose I have something like uh, AST or QWERTY fine now what will happen is let's press enter and here what you see is that ASD got read correctly uh, by the program okay and uh, the function was the read um, function fine so it has accepted one byte each from the standard input which i've explained in the previous video so a was read uh, individually then s then d okay then we press and enter now um, we have written here qwerty which is qwerty and when our kilo reads the first byte which is q then uh, here we can see that if c is not equal to q then it will continue the program but here a c was equal to q and uh, since that's the case our while loop got uh, stop and uh, we come out of the program since we come off come out of the program this werty was read by our shell and here right now i'm using the bash uh, shell fine so werty is no command actually and that's the reason why um, our shell didn't execute this command fine 
So here, uh, this line, any characters after the queue will be left under on the input queue and you may see that input being fed into your shell after the program exits. Fine. Now we can just try, oh, uh, we can try it with maybe Q, uh, C, L, E, A, R. Fine. So here you can see that the last command was C, L, E, A, R, which got executed successfully. And um, it's actually a command um, uh, which clears your uh, terminal output. Fine. And before that uh, was our kilo, which got executed. Fine. And between that, it's a clear and Q. I hope this makes sense and um, yeah that's it for this video um, thank you for watching and if you have any doubts or if you want to give any feedback um, please write it in the comments and uh, yeah